Hi, I'm DeWanda Wise, and you're rocking with JoelleBazil.com. So the viewers want to know, what do we have to do to get brought back in the studio? I'm always in the studio. I practically live in the studio. That's why I'm a horse now. Me and JD put out songs all the time just for our fans and social media. You can go to SoundCloud, So So Def. It's about 10 new joints with me and JD. We putting out a mixtape and all that. Okay. I'm always in the studio. So I have to ask you, what's your take on Remy and Nicki Minaj beef right now? Oh man, I said something already on Dish Nation. Remy is my friend, so I, I'm on Rem's team. Okay. Uh, Remy. And I'm going to let you know right now, we all love you. You paved the way for so many females in the rap industry, and trust me, we love you. And Escape got back together, so can we expect a So So Dev tour? I mean, I don't know. That's up to JD. You know, whatever he do, I'm down. Okay. Love you, girl. Thank all right. You. You're welcome. So I'll start off by saying motherhood never looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> so what... What are some lessons that you learned since you gave birth? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think I learned too much of anything, but just, you know, doing things more for another person other than just you. It's no longer me. It's me and my baby. But I love her so much, and, I mean, I'm so happy about being a mother. It's, like, the best accomplishment that I could ever accomplish in life. So I'm excited about being a mom. So you went to motherhood. Now you're on a small screen. So what future projects can we expect from you as far as acting is concerned? Well, I'm right now doing Star yeah. with uh, produced by Lee Daniels. I'm on like three, four episodes. I actually started doing the show before I found out I was pregnant, so I had to stop doing the show because I became pregnant. Uh, but that's going on right now. I'm sure I'll be in the second season. Shout out to Lee Daniels because that's my well, baby. You will be because I love your character. You tell it. <laughs> you tell it like it is. Pretty much, I'm, I'm playing on Star. I'm playing who I am, the, my personality. So it's, I mean, it's not easy, but it's easier than if I had to change my character because that's who I am. I'm playing a girl named Michelle, Puerto Rican, a stripper, and she's just like a real ass bitch. And um, I just, as a executive producer, deliver a special on VH1 for my daughter Bonnie Bella before she was born. So I, you, you know, you'll be able to see everything that happened. Before I had the baby and after I had the baby, and that would be our May 1st on VH1 at 8 p.m. And um, I also got a new song coming out with uh, Dara and Dolly, which is uh, Young Thug's Sisters. That's a new single coming out. You will get to listen to it on the radio real soon. And of course, I'm doing the love of hip hop. I love your music. Just you go to church. That's my shit. <laughs> Thank you. See, a lot of people, it's like, I, I, you know, the type of music I make is who I am as a person. And I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, because they, all, we are, people is different artists and we all are different. So what I bring to the table as far as being an artist is who I am as a person. And, you know, a lot of people like yourself can get to enjoy it because they are who I am. Right. and you can live through me through the music so you know it's exciting that I could be able to touch people like yourself and other people uh, and of course I'm doing Love and Hip Hop you know that comes out in March uh, March uh, 20 something I think maybe no March 6 I'm sorry March yeah, 6 next Monday. Next, next, yeah, Monday. next Monday yeah and then you know while this Love and Hip Hop is playing May 1st you'll get to see the delivery special then you can catch me on Star on Wednesdays on Fox uh, and the new single coming out yeah, and the, the real of course, I'm going back to the real. I just did the real for a week. I'll be back there in April. Oh, that, that week I took it, I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like ten more. Like, oh, <laughs> I can't do. It. I'm. I had a great time, and it's such a great uh, opportunity to be able to work with those ladies. Um, they're great. Uh, Adrian, Lonnie Love, you know, all of them are great, and I had a great time shooting the show. So I can't wait to go back next week, next uh, April. Because you, you bought that spice that that show needed. Absolutely. Yeah, you are the missing ingredient. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't do anything without a little Puerto Rican princess in the what the fuck. Eso es verdad. <laughs> sí, eso es verdad. Claro que sí, papi. Sí. Tú sabes, sí. ya tú sabes cómo es. Oh, yo sabo mucho, sí. <laughs> Pero tú eres bonita y grasa para todo, ¿ok? Thank you so much, sí. Anytime. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too, ¿ok? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... I mean, y'all chilling. Y'all yeah. literally have wine. <laughs> Like, where's my cup? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm all right. Okay, so it's going to be great. Okay. So I'm here with the beautiful DeWanda Wise, a.k.a. Shamika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So can you let our viewers know a little more about your character? Okay. Um, 
as you said, I'm Dewana Was. I play Shamika Campbell. Shamika Campbell is one of two mothers on our show uh, who we find out her child is killed by the police in the first episode. Um, the juxtaposition is that her son's murder was covered up. So our show is kind of an exposition of our system and, you know, what goes down or doesn't go down with the police. And, yeah. What message um, are you guys trying to give to your viewers? I think there are many messages, honestly. I think it's a very complicated issue, um, and we attack it from a lot of sides. Um, you know, from the media to the police to, you know, uh, Sana and Stefan play folks from the Justice Department who come to investigate in a small town. We investigate small town America. So there's a whole lot. There's a lot that people are going to learn that I don't think they really know about these cases. So last question. Mm -hmm. How hard was the audition process? I mean, I auditioned for three roles. This was the third one. Um, and it. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. But, you know, um, this is we very strange to say, but heartbreak comes a little easier for me. So. Okay, so, where can the viewers find you on social media? I'm at Dewanda Wise, at D E W A N D A W I S E, everywhere, every platform. That's where I'm at. All right, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm here with the creator of Shots Fire, Mr. Reggie. How's it going this evening? Um, great, thank you. Yeah, I, um, Shots Fire is a series I created with my wife, Gina Prince Bythewood, and it's just, you know, it's just a blessing to be able to come out here to Atlanta and, and share it with the audience here. Okay. So, what's the concept behind Shots Fire? Um, it's uh, Shots Fire is, is is explores two racially motivated killings. Um, in many ways, it's a who done it and a why done it. You know, we know that one person was, an unarmed person was killed by a police officer, and we don't know why. We also know a young African American was killed, but we don't know who did, who did it. So what we're doing in Shots Fired is we're, we're kind of doing this why done it and who done it simultaneously while we're kind of like dissecting, if you will. Like, like in many ways, Shots Fired is an autopsy into a town, a, a neighborhood like Ferguson. And that's what we're doing with the show. We look forward for it. And, and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So this lady needs no introduction. You sure? Oh, positive. <laughs> so the season premiere, the new season is right around the corner. What can we expect? The new season premiere is March 21st. Yeah. Yes, it's right around the corner. And you can expect even more drama than last season. Ooh, so, honey, buckle your seatbelts, mm -hmm. hold on tight, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. So what is it about this season that's so intense? <laughs> Well, I think there's... Without giving it away. Oh, gosh. Well, they're trying to throw my man under the bus. So... And it, it, Lucian with an N, uh -huh. you know, Lucian's oh, his own empire. Yeah. So look, <laughs> always have to distinguish. <laughs> they're trying to throw my man, my good man, under the bus. They're trying to pin him like he's messing around with Alex. Because, you know, she like black men. Yeah. So we're going to have some questions that will be answered this season. So, you know, I can't give anything away. So tune in. Ooh, it's going to be ooh, juicy, but juicy. You know, I live every Tuesday night for you. Loving oh, you is wrong. Thank you. Yes. Can I just tell you, you smell delightful, oh, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> really, I want to take a bite out of you. I'm sorry. I love, like, you really do. I knew that you were about to be here, so I was like, I, 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 I have to, I have to show up. You, yes, yeah. and, you, and that you did. You're so thank beautiful. You. Thank you so much. Thank and you for always having me. Always a pleasure seeing you. Thank okay? you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Yes. Bye, bye Okay, baby.